Okay, this tutorial is going to help you with the pegboard toy. So, <clears throat> on the uh, Autodesk Inventor, you can see down here at, on this uh, bottom bar here, I have my round peg has already been extruded, my square peg has already been extruded, and my pegboard toy has already been created. And I cut using the extrude button, I cut the square and I cut the round hole out. So I'm going to give you a real quick glimpse into what that looked like. So I'm going to edit the sketch so you guys can see the sketches that I made. So I made sure that it was properly dimensioned from the top down. So I know it's in the center there because this is three inches. The square, the center of the square is exactly in the middle of the three inch platform as well and is a little bit more difficult but I had to make sure that it was equally spaced from here so this is from here to here is five and three quarter inches so I put a point in there that was five and three quarter inches divided by two which got me my middle point and then I made sure that this point and this point were halfway between the middle point that's what made sense to me so that's what I did so that's where I got those and I cut those out now what we're going to do is do an assembly this is the harder part of it so I'm going to go up here you can go to the application menu go down to open and we're going to nope sorry do not do that we're going to do new uh, we're going to go new and we're going to put an assembly so here's part here's assembly we're just doing a standard inch right here double click on that and this is your working area. So I want to get my uh, pegboard, my square, and my round peg in here so I can work on it. So the first thing I'm going to put is the pegboard right here. So I click on the pegboard, say open, and now my cursor becomes the pegboard. So I'm going to click once, and there it is. Now notice that I could put as many pegboards as I want, but I just want one. So you can either push escape or right click and say uh, cancel and there it is now this is very important once it's here right click on it and we want to ground see where it says grounded you want to ground that so that now it can't move okay so if I try to grab it and move it does not move that's very important okay so now I'm going to go back up here to place and now I want to place my round peg say open and place it in there anywhere. Notice I can put as many as I want, I just want one. So let's escape out of that. And then I'm gonna place my square peg right there, open, and just put it anywhere. Okay, now there's, this is the more difficult part. Now I want to insert the round peg into the platform. So I'm gonna go up here, I'm gonna click Constrain, and when I get to Constrain, when I get to this round peg, it gives me this line, and that's what I want. I want it, that line. Click once. And if I go over towards the hole, it recognizes that it's also a round hole, and you get that line again. Click again, and say OK. Now what happens? Now that uh, round peg fits in there nicely. Now we're going to do the same thing to the square peg, but the square peg's a little different because it's not round. I've got to do two mates. So I'm going to click Strain. This first option is called mate. So I've got mate, and I'm going to mate the side, this side, to the side that I want it to mate on here. And at this point, you can mate it on any of the four sides because they're both square. So I'm going to say click. Actually, let's. I'm going to undo that. So I'm going to cancel that. Let's not do that. So I'm going to click constrain. I'm going to put this one. And I'm going to move this around a little bit so I can constrain it to this guy. There we go. And then I've got to do another constraint. So I say OK. And we're going to do another constraint. So click constraint. And then I've got this made again. So I click this side of the square peg. And then I want it to constrain to this side of that hole, that square hole. And it should be done. Say OK. Now I'm able to move the square and the round circle in and out and that's how you make the pegboard toy 
this is the first part of it. There's more to this activity in which I'll do another tutorial later on, but this at least gives you the, the first part of it.